Sound Capstone students build projects by utilizing computer audio techniques for human interfacing, sound recording and playback, encoding and decoding, synchronization, sound synthesis, recognition and analysis and resynthesis. Here are some of the projects students created. This project, you know, you get together your teammates and you, you try and figure out something cool to do and then you've got pretty much 10 weeks to go and do this project however you like. It's up to you to plan, it's up to you to decide, it's up to you to design your system. Our system is a voice recognition system. We knew we wanted to do something about recognizing either voices or some sort of, you know, sound clips from some sort of database. You don't want to tell your computer, you know, oh, I'm this user right now, or, you know, I'm going to switch to another user. To create a system that can identify who you are um, based on your voice alone. So this means it doesn't care about what particular things you say but rather it tries to understand uh, what your voice is like and tries to capture um, the distribution of your voice. Put on these headphones right here. Our project is uh, Moi Moi Rush. It is a Oculus VR rhythm game using Wiimotes. It was our capstone project and it was a lot of fun to make. Our project is called Kimby. It's speech therapy for kids. The problem we're trying to solve here is that uh, eight to nine percent of all kids uh, have some kind of speech disorder. Therapists, as of right now, spend about a half hour every week uh, with these kids. The kids don't have a lot of time to practice their speech therapy with a therapist. That half hour is not really well utilized, so we're creating an app that the kids can take home and practice speech with. Green. Our solution was to create a game. The therapist can assign it as homework. Ram. And then while they're playing it, they're getting a targeted speech therapy session, basically. And with all this data and all these recordings are sent to a server, which then the therapist can access through an application that we built. We met with professional speech therapists in Arlington, Washington, and we showed him our application and our, um, and our therapist portal. Uh, he seemed very impressed, and for future work, we'd like to launch the application in his school district to see how it does with the children. Our project is a virtual conductor. By using the Oculus, uh, we can have a 3D environment with instruments that are playing music that are automatically generated by the computer. And then using a Leap Motion controller, we're able to interact with the music and control uh, how it's being played. So this is how you will select an instrument to be placed onto the stage in our game using the Leap Motion controller. You can project your hand into the virtual environment, grab an instrument, and put it on the stage. The biggest challenge in this project was probably learning to use the Unity Editor, um, which tends to crash a lot. That was kind of tricky. Dealing with audio was one of the first things I started doing when I started programming. I'm also a musician. I guess it was kind of natural for me to experiment with what computers can do with sound. Uh, so the project is called SoFi. It's like Wi-Fi, but sound. Basically what we were going for is being able to set up an ad hoc connection between a couple of computers. And we intentionally chose our default frequencies to be the same frequencies that like the original bell modems used. I actually really enjoyed the, the project-based learning. Like, I really like the hands-on nature of it. It's a good way to wrap up like what did you actually learn and how are you actually going to like take ownership of a project and push through it, push through the challenges.